In the third video in our series on performing a quality audit in FreeQMS, we're once again logged in as our quality specialist. This user, who recorded an audit minor nonconformance activity and a recommendation activity in part two of the series, will work to resolve these actionable items. We should pause here and briefly mention the Kappa module. The Kappa module offers companies a more in-depth opportunity to open comprehensive corrective actions electronically for audit findings deserving of the process. Whether your company resolves audit findings directly through the audit module or opens Kappas will be up to your documentation. FreeQMS is open to both routes. For now, let's click the audit module to proceed with closing our activities. We're going to click 2020 internal audit ISO 9001 example created in part one of this video series. The information tab and the data it contains were covered in part one and two of the series. Unlike a Kappa or supplier, it's unlikely that initial information about the audit will be edited during the process. Let's click Audit Activities. We can see our two activities created during part two of the video. The first is a recommendation from the auditor. The auditor recommends the company integrate the outsourced processes list into the approved supplier list. The second is a minor nonconformance. The company has no acceptance procedure. We are going to work on the recommendation first by clicking the record. Let's review this recommendation. We can see here that the auditor noted that the organization currently documents and controls outsourced processes separately from the approved suppliers. The auditor recommends this function be integrated into the approved supplier list. We can see how the auditor is supporting this recommendation under notes. As this is a recommendation and not a nonconformance, there's no requirement to make this change. The auditor is referencing the ISO 9001 clause that led them to this recommendation. The auditor also notes the company's current SOPs for the suppliers and outsourced processes showing a thorough review was performed. We as a company are going to close out this recommendation by performing the auditor's recommendation. To provide proof of implementation, we will use FreeQMS's evidence system to upload verification. Let's click the Add Audit Activity Verification button. We are going to attach a series of example files to show proof of the recommendation's implementation. We are going to attach a series of example files to show proof of the recommendation's implementation. Let's start by clicking the Choose File button next to Upload. We will select a file from our desktop, copy of C46 change order .pdf. Let's describe this change order in the Evidence field. Let's also add some notes. This change order obsoletes documents relating to the old outsourced suppliers process and moves the outsourced processes into the approved suppliers list and updates the supplier management procedure to include management of outsourced processes. Let's pause and review before clicking create. In this fictional example, we are resolving the auditor's recommendation by putting several documents through our change order process. Our list of outsourced processes our SOP controlling outsource processes, our approved supplier list, and our SOP controlling the approved supplier list and supplier management. We are choosing to move our outsourced processes to the approved supplier list and manage these suppliers under one consolidated process, which is reflected in our updated supplier management SOP. We no longer need the separate list of outsourced suppliers and its controlling procedure, so we are obsoleting both of these documents. Let's click Create. Great, we've added a verification, but let's do one more by clicking the Add Audit Verification Activity button again. We already added a copy of a change order showing that we made changes, but let's add another document to show real-world progress. Copy of ASL RevG.PDF. In the Evidence field, we'll put Copy of Current Revision of Approved Supplier List Showing Outsourced Suppliers. This shows we've done the work to move outsourced processes suppliers to the ASL. Let's click Create. Awesome, we've provided verification to close our activity, but we aren't done yet. We need to close this activity. Let's scroll up and click the Edit button. We need to update the status field. The status will now be closed, and we can click the Save button. This activity is now closed, which is reflected in the upper right corner. Let's click the Audit Activities tab to tackle our next activity. 
Next, we have a minor nonconformance for lacking an acceptance activities procedure. We'll select this activity by clicking it. Now, in this example, we're going to correct an error before proceeding. This activity is recorded as a minor nonconformance. However, this is an internal audit where nonconformities are unlikely to be graded, and this finding is for a complete lack of a procedure. Additionally, ISO 9001-2015 does not provide nonconformity grading, and the terminology of minor versus major, although well established within the medical device industry, is not universal. Therefore, we will reclassify this finding as a nonconformity. Let's click the Edit button. We'll update the following fields. Activity type will be nonconformance and the status will be in progress. Updating a status to in progress is not strictly necessary, but is helpful in alerting fellow team members that the resolution of an audit activity is underway. Let's click the History tab. Here, a history record is posted with regard to our audit activity. We can see that the status and the finding level have been updated. This will be helpful in determining who made the choice to reclassify the audit finding and at what point they made the decision if an audit history is ever produced. Let's click the Audit Activities tab to return to resolving our actionable items. We will once again select our nonconformance. Let's scroll down and review. In this nonconformance, the auditor requested the company produce a procedure that established acceptance activities. The company could not produce a procedure. The auditor supported this with notes about who filled the request and which clauses of ISO 9001 are cited. Although these videos largely avoid instruction on the performance of quality, the only likely resolution for this finding, assuming there truly is no procedure, is to create a procedure for acceptance activities or amend an existing procedure. We will be amending this fictional example with proof of a new procedure. Let's click the Add Audit Activity Verification button. Let's click the Choose File button next to Upload. We're going to select a dummy file, copy of C47, changeorder.pdf. We're going to put in evidence, change order C47 introduces SOP 406, acceptance activities, and form 406 acceptance activities that establishes criteria for incoming product acceptance activities. Let's click Create. Let's click the Add Audit Activity Verification button again. To show evidence, we're going to upload a copy of the training records for the new SOP and form. We will click the Upload button and select a dummy file, Training Records for SOP 406 Acceptance Activities.pdf. We'll put in evidence, Training Records for Introduced SOP 406 Acceptance Activities and Related Form. Let's click Create. Now we've submitted all the verification we should need to prove this activity is resolved. Let's close the activity. We'll scroll to the top and click the Edit button. Let's update the status to Closed. Scroll down and click the Save button. This audit activity is now closed as indicated by the Closed icon in the upper right corner. We've resolved the actionable audit items recorded during this audit. This concludes the work of the Quality Specialist other than the final approval signature. In the next part in our video series, we'll log in as our audit manager and begin the approval process to close this audit.